This video is more of a, a blog or a vlog or vlog, whatever it's called, about these giant satellite dishes you see here. These are known as C-band satellite dishes. And very recently there was a video on YouTube that got, I think, over a million views. And the question was asked, whatever happened to these big, huge satellite dishes? Well, that video sort of answered the question, but kind of stopped short of giving a complete answer. The uh, video said that these dishes were used back in the 80s and 90s for satellite TV, and then when small satellite dishes like these came around, these dishes basically went the way of the dinosaur. Well, that's not necessarily true. These dishes can still be used to receive free satellite TV. Even in the year 2022, you can see I have two of them. They're aimed at two different satellites and I get lots of free TV channels on them. You can get channels from around the world. You can get free radio channels. You can get lots of American TV stations. The very same stations that lots of people pick up with a TV antenna. If you can't use a TV antenna, this is a great option if you don't mind having a big dish like this in your yard. Now, when you drive around, you might see these in people's yards or maybe take a drive in the countryside and you'll see these things in fields. Just remember that they can still be used for free satellite TV. They're not dead yet. C-band satellite is actually very much alive. It is a preferred method of broadcasting in the TV industry because these large dishes capture very long signal wavelengths that are pretty much impervious to rain and snow. And that's great for broadcasters because they don't want anything to interrupt their TV signal. Now, if they were to use tiny little dishes like this, KU band satellite dishes, these capture very small wavelengths. And those tiny little wavelengths are easily swamped out by rain and snow. So C-band satellite is still very much a way to receive satellite television. So if you are curious about C-band satellite television, then look in the description of this video. There are a few other videos I've made on this topic. Some tips and tricks for finding your own C-band satellite dish some things to watch out for, some things to consider and think about. And why wouldn't you want to have a cool satellite dish in your yard to receive lots and lots of free satellite TV channels? Who wouldn't want this in their yard?